how much food is in my freezer. Okay. Don't look at how dirty it is. But look how much food I've got shammed pack in there. And in the door. There is food everywhere <laughs> in this house. But this freezer, as full as it is, I've got stuff to get in there. And I don't know what to do. Okay, this is where I'm at. We're getting deep into the back and the bottom. We haven't hit that yet and we haven't taken anything out of there. But let me show you what I do have so far. This here is a meat bucket. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it, is my meat bucket. I do have, um, I have some chicken thighs. I cannot do my dishes, so my kitchen is a hot mess and I can't get into the, the watery stuff because of my thing. So we got more chicken thighs. We need to cook those up before I cook any new meat. That's gonna be cooked up for my cat. So we've got another one. So we've got, huh. so this weekend I'll be cooking up three packs, three packs of chicken thighs. Okay, for the dogs, well, first of all, this is a bag of old dumplings and we're gonna throw those into the garbage can. Okay, we have pepperonis and salamis that are frozen. I will repackage all of that into one thing that's still very good. Okay, pork loins, one, two, three, four, four pork loins in there, a bag of chicken breasts. We got our three bags of shrimp. We've got some salmon, whoops, some salmon. Okay, this is stuff that some things are gonna be bad and some are not. Okay, so we have these little chicken breasts here and I think I might just cook those with those thighs. Um, breakfast bowl, I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. Uh, an old ham steak, I'm thinking the dogs. Um, a box of dumplings, we need to cook those up. Some pot stickers and another spicy bowl. That back in there, there is some chuck steak. I need to cook that, maybe that would be good for some dog food. All of these sausages and things like that that are right here, there's some, like a little steak in here and the, all this was all reduced and it all looks pretty shabby, but I'm pretty sure my dogs would like it. So I'm gonna take it out and cook that for them. So, so far we know what we're gonna save. And I'm still digging, but I can tell you this, that little thing of bacon is going to be part of dog food. All right, let's keep digging. Okay, so I'm just kind of putting things where I know they are. This is not going to be their permanent spots. Back here in the back, I have butter from the back up to here. And then I got cream cheese. I have my cheese cubes. And I have a bunch of slices right here, right in front of me. And then this here is my getta and sausage right now that's in the freezer. So I'm just kind of getting it all organized where I know where everything is. Now look at this. This right here. <laughs> that right there in the middle. This. Eh, not my cheese that are falling. All of this right here are blueberries. <laughs> and one pack of cranberries. So, ooh, I'm going to make my cranberry jelly when I do my blueberries. So I've got vegetables from the back. I'm starting to bring my vegetables up here and I have my coconut shreds right here. So I'm down here to this shelf and I have some New York strip steaks, which are awesome. And we're going to keep those. I have the little pork tenderloin that I got that's wrapped in bacon. I have some really good bacon. I got three of those. So all three, all four of these packages will go into our save bin for our big, big meat save bin. We have more chicken thighs. Now I think these are boneless, skinless, and I'm going to do something with those for myself. So I'm going to keep these 
Oh my gosh, it's so dirty down here. What is the world is that? Oh, it's a refrigerator thermometer. Oh. Oh, I did not know that was in there. Uh, I don't know. Okay, just stick it in there. Look how dirty it is back in here, you guys. Okay, so here are, here's some beef. Look at this roast I need to cook. That's a double roast. I need to cook that. And these pork chops. So what I'm going to do is start a bin for all of the food that I'm going to feed my animals. <laughs> we still have this right here to go. And the big bag of blueberries has fallen out. All right. Be back in a bit. Okay. Now this is where we are. Those are all berries right there. Cranberries, mostly blueberries. There's blackberries, there's raspberries, there's strawberries. Half of the top is berries. Okay, so this is what I did to the door. I put all my vegetables right there. I put the butter that needs to be used right there. There's some sausage. There's getta. There's some shrimp that needs to be used up. There's some cheese, unsweetened coconut. I've got some tortillas there, some mushrooms. Awesome for my soups coming up. Just saying. Um, and look, I found an ice cream sandwich. <laughs> he has an ice cream for tonight, you guys. And then my two active yeasts. So now I've got to finagle that. Okay. Okay. So this is what we're keeping from up top. You can see I have my shrimp up there. I have my bag of chicken breasts underneath it. I've got all my pork loins there. <laughs> my berries that need to get done. So my thing is, is once I start processing these berries, it's going to alleviate. Um, but I don't know. So in this bin here has got my butters, my cheeses, cream cheeses. There's pepperoni and salami in there. So that's kind of just keeping everything from falling all over the place. Right here is all of my bacons. There's my salmon. Um, here's a big pork uh, sausage. I put those little boxes of stuff back there in the back. And then I have these three meats here that need to be cooked. This meat, these pork chops. I'm thinking about giving these pork chops to uh, my neighbor. Okay, so this is what I have to get rid of. All of that that's in there. There's all kinds of lunch meat, frozen lunch meat and stuff in there. Um, yeah, there's some stuff in there that I'm going to cook up for the dogs. All of this is not going back into the freezer. It also will go into this bin for me to start cooking for the dogs. The last thing I have to do is to go into the bottom of the refrigerator and get out hot dogs and sausages and all kinds of other things like cheese and I don't know. There's a lot of bacon that I need to get out of the, the bottom refrigerator. But for right now, I'm just going to let you see what I just did. I still have a lot of food in there. Y'all have a great day. Enjoy your evening. Um, I don't know if I'm going to cook anything or not. I might pop up something and uh, we'll see. Y'all hugs from a distance. Oh, and I will let you see what it looks like when I pull everything from the refrigerator. But right now, let's just leave it at that. I'm done.